And welcome to the Writer's Life, a place where you get to sight, sounds, smells, taste of my particular Writer's Life. Where you get the truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. Coming to you from uh, beautiful North Creek, where I'm skiing for a couple days. Well, actually I'm here for a couple days, but I'm only skiing one day. Um, because I'm trying to get... Uh, her darkest secret out. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe, punch the like button, and tap the bell for notifications. Go to vinzandry.com, vinzandry.com for all these new thrillers that are coming out. Hot and heavy. Um, this is a sleepy town. It's never, nothing's ever open. <laughs> I'll go this way. Um, so it's, uh, I've had like these weird few days, like, you know, everybody knows how I like to go out and have a beer after work or whatever. Um, cause you know, you're inside all day and all that sort of stuff, except for going out for a jog. But like on two occasions, back to back, two different bars, um, I had like... I had like this one dude starting in on me, you know, like clearly just starting trouble and um, I don't want to say like, you know, they think I'm a little bit uppity because I've published a bunch of books and all this sort of stuff and because I'm not, I'm like just a regular dude, but, um, but this guy in particular does. And I've come close to like, <laughs> um, much like my dental work needs rearranging, I've come close to rearranging his, you know, but I'm not gonna do that ever. In my mind, I've come close to doing it. But, uh, so anyway, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna avoid that place and go to another place. This was last night. And I handed out a free book to some, cause, in this particular bar, like, a lot of people like to read my books. I don't know why, but, um, well, my hand's freezing. I'm going to switch up. So, you know, I was this drunk guy in there and with his wife and another girl. And But the wife and the girl were talking about, like, my books. And I guess they probably watched The Writer's Life because they were talking about her darkest secret. And it was really getting under this guy's skin. Big guy. Construction worker type guy. And he starts in on, like, I could write, I could do this, and, like, who, who's he think he is, and all this, you know, the same shit, right? And so I just went over to him, and I'm like, you know, you got a problem? What's, what's wrong? You don't like writers? And I couldn't help but laugh at him. And, you know, when you do something like that, they just sort of back down. And uh, he's like, says to his wife, well, I guess it's probably a good time we should go. And I was like, yeah, probably, <laughs> you know. Anyway, um, so I left there and I went to another place and I met up with, um, I happened to run into a couple of friends of mine. They're young. And she in particular, his wife, this guy's wife, um, is a professional writer, but she wants brought really badly to be a fiction writer. Get a publisher and an agent a whole bit. And she was, she's so frustrated. She's very young, but she's so frustrated because it's not happening fast enough for her. And so she was literally in tears. And I was like, my God, I remember those days where I, you know, I was never brought to tears, but it was where things were so frustrating and you wouldn't sleep at night. And you know, you'd wait for your agent to call you with maybe news of a public, of a publisher having made an offer and it just never came through. So you'd, You'd start doing stupid things like calling the agent and bugging them. And that's a no no, by the way. You should never call your agent ever. They'll call you, um, but you can't help it, you know? And it just brought back all those memories. And I'm like, I'm so glad that I've published, I don't know, 60 or 70 books with traditional pu publishers, made the New York Times list, USA Today, overall Kindle number one several times. Um, 
sold like a million and a half bucks, which is nothing compared to some people, but still, I think it's a lot. Um, hit the, you know, won the ITW Thriller Award, won the PWA Sheamus Award, was a finalist for a Derringer Award, and some minor awards too, and all that stuff. I'm so glad I did all that. That's a friend of mine, so <laughs> anyway. So, um, all right, I have to cut this short, but uh, you get the point. Um, this is just, you know, it's it's your art, and it can be just such a heart-wrenching business sometimes. And you try to get through to young people that the hard times really won't last forever. And what's even harder to get through to them is that the good times won't last forever either. And that's just the way it is. So, anyway, it's been a few, a few strange days. But uh, anyway, good days, right? All right, so that's all about all I got. And uh, I will catch all you guys tomorrow from the mountain. All right? Ciao, ciao.